Who is the chief protagonist of Great Expectations by Charles Dickens? Oliver Twist, Philip Pirrip, David Copperfield, or Nicholas Nickleby? So I don't think it's Oliver Twist. David Copperfield, I think, is David Copperfield. Um, but I really haven't got a clue, which I should be really annoyed with, because it's Dickens, but, okay. I think I'd like to ask the audience if that's okay. Well, they're all sitting around doing nothing. We may as well Why use not? them. Okay, audience, on your keypads, please. Um, here comes the question. Who is the chief protagonist of Great Expectations by Charles Dickens? And if you'd all vote now, please. Right, so there we are. Hmm. Right, that's not as clear cut as we might have hoped. No, I was thinking Nicholas Nickleby, but I don't feel like that's helped me in the slightest, really, has it? Um, I think I'm going to have to go 50 50, please. Okay, computer, could you take away two wrong answers, please? There you are. OK, we're going to play B, final answer. Philip, hit, clear it. And the right answer, eventually. <laughs> well done. Well done. 40% of the audience. Anyway, safety net at £4,000. No, thank you. We'll keep going. Okie doke. This is your question. In order of distance from the sun, which planet is between Jupiter and Uranus? Saturn, Mars, Neptune, or Venus? I'm just going to do some quick finger calculations while I go through the order of the galaxy, if that's all right? All uh, the time in the world. Thank you. Yeah, it's Saturn, a final answer. It is. <laughs> and you have now won £4,000. <laughs> Excellent. OK, here's my final question. Would you like to see more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire videos? Then click subscribe and you're guaranteed to win. Granted, it's not a million pounds, but it could be worse.